Bert, thank you. Well, with so much happening in the Middle East, we'd be remiss to not mention a big meeting focusing on Iran today, covering the country's nuclear program and the deteriorating situation in neighboring Iraq. Our senior correspondent, Eric Shine, is streaming live from Paris with the latest on this. Eric? Jenna, it is a massive call for regime change in Tehran. This is the largest gathering of the Iranian opposition here in this convention center just outside of Paris. The sponsors say they expect about 100,000 people to be protesting here, and they all will be united with one message, don't trust Iran. The sponsor of this group is the Council of Resistance of Iran, formerly known as the MEK. It has a controversial history, having been on the terrorist list, but has been delisted over the past six years by U.S. and European authorities calling for elections, gender equality, and no nuclear weapons in Iran. We sat down for an exclusive interview with its leader, Maryam Rajavi. It was her first American television interview. She warned us about the looming July 20th interim nuclear agreement with Iran. She does not want the world powers to give it the right to enrich uranium. That would be a violation of six United Nations Security Council resolutions. And she fears if they are given that right, as is expected, it will be a clear path to the nuclear bomb. We hope that in these negotiations, the international community would succeed in halting the Iranian regime's advances and ambitions because halting the bomb-making of the mullahs is what we, the Iranian resistance, and the Iranian people want. Regrettably, however, the direction of the talks does not show such a thing. Mrs. Rajavi also accused Tehran of spreading fundamentalism and its influence throughout the region, specifically in Syria and Iraq. She calls Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki a, quote, Iranian operative and an Iranian puppet. She's concerned there could be another massacre at the group's compound in Iraq, Camp Liberty, which is home to 3,000 people. The group has attracted bipartisan support from former officials associated with it, among them former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. It is a group that's in favor of a nuclear-free Iran, a really nuclear-free Iran, not an Iran that has uh, nuclear capacity that can then play around with us as to whether or not they are two months away or one month away or three months away from being a nuclear power. So um, this is a group that is very much in the interest of the United States to support, to create leverage against the Ayatollahs. Well, Tehran has branded this group a terrorist group, saying that it has fabricated the allegations against it and that it's a cult. But Mrs. Rajavi told me she completely rejects those charges, saying the Iranian government is afraid of the Iranian opposition like this that wanted to. We're live in Villepin, France. I'm Eric Sean, Fox News. Back to you, Jenna. Very interesting. Eric, thank you.